Paul Marsh on 93.7 Express FM. Now, I am lucky to be joined by Tim Protty Jones, Vicky Mansur, Jake Morell, and Poppy Fardell, a.k.a. First Time Flyers. First Time Flyers. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Yeah, so good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's been a lively morning already. Well, that, well, that's the main thing. That is the main thing. Now, I guess we need to get to know you because there may be some people that know you as individuals, but we now need to get to know you as a collective. So I'm interested to know how your paths came to meet. Ooh. Right. Let's try, how far well, back it's the going? chronological order that gets me every time. Yeah. But yeah. I think I knew Jake first, right? Yeah, I think so. We met at CC. What yeah. year, though? Oh. We Twitter met. We Twitter met. Oh, my goodness. This is, there's so much going on here. It's unbelievable. 2023 Basically. problems, isn't it? It yes. really is. So many different forms of social media. But um, essentially, I'd physically done gigs and stuff with Jake when we'd been on the same bill for stuff. Uh, myself with my band at the time and Jake. Um, I know we played on a boat where we I think did. it was the first time I met you properly, Thames, yeah. which was delightful. Um, we just hit it off. I've always loved Jake's songwriting anyway. Um, That's the first time he's ever said that, by the and way. And I will not say it again. <laughs> okay. but, it's, it's recorded, uh, it's going out on air. There's no delete it, <laughs> delete it immediately. I need a copy. I need a copy. <laughs> and um, uh, from a personal point of view, I've been very lucky enough to produce Poppy's music and Vicky's music as solo artists. Um, so I knew exactly what they were about as vocalists and writers and everything. And, you know, I think when it came to putting a, you know, a band together with, with our closest friends, it was, it was a no brainer really. But, um, who yeah, broached I mean, the subject first? Jake. Me. This guy. Do you know what's funny is Jake, you broached it to Tim. Tim, you mentioned it to me years ago. Mm. Like there's a gap in the market for it. And I was like, one day it's going to come about. And I thought it'd be you pushing it, but it was you pushing it, Jake, wasn't it? It was me. It was Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was like, he gentle had the bullying. He had the gentle trust. Bullying. Yeah, gentle yeah. bullying. So, so what I want to know is because, like I say, you've all had reasonable success as individuals. You've all done various bits and pieces, and people in this in the industry all know you. And then, what made you thought, hang about, if we if we pool our our, our collective powers, we could become superstars? <laughs> Jake, what 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 made you honestly think honestly <laughs> for me for me it was it was just about wanting to have fun with it. Right. Like, okay. I was, you know, I just I just thought. How how better way to spend your time than you know touring around the country and playing shows with like some of your best mates? I mean, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? It's yeah, just... we... go on. So, okay, um, I um I loved doing my music and I wanted to put more time and energy and everything into it. But as a solo artist, I honestly just didn't know how, and and so I didn't feel like safe enough to step away from my job mm. um, as like a musical theatre actress to actually like delve like balls deep into my solo career. <laughs> wow, wow. it's a family show. <laughs> sorry, ten thirty on a Friday <laughs> morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um. So yeah, I just. Like when when uh, when Tim told me about it, I was I literally jumped at the chance because I was like, oh my gosh, this is you you feel so much safer with um with like three of your pals I by your side. Safe, Four breaks <laughs> are better than one. That's true. We yeah. I mean, we talked about it earlier, you know, and I think it it all stems down to when we were all doing solo stuff. It was all so vocally heavy and harmony heavy. Whenever we play live, we always had musicians who could sing. Uh, backing vocals so those harmonies were always really present in everything that we've ever done mm. but to actually have it as four lead vocalists mm. all in the same band you know and selfishly it does take the pressure off a little bit because you, you are sharing it four ways um you're also sharing costs four ways which i think is a good <laughs> yeah. yeah and we said last night at the launch like actually as solo artists over the last few years the most fun we've had is when the four of us have been at festivals together and supporting each other's solo work and then it's like okay well if this is how much fun we're having now you know how much fun could we have if we combine is, I mean, Tim will know it's, it's no different to sort of doing what we do on the radio um, in the fact that we enjoy being in the studio and playing the music and talking and everything else like that. The best fun you have is when there is a local festival on and four or five presenters all lump in and do one show together. And absolutely. It's fun. So I absolutely know where you guys are coming from. Yeah. So I suppose the next decision you had to make was your sound. Do you know what? They're quite naturally. It, yeah. There was no conversation okay. about that, which is probably weird. Um, mm. I think because we all knew each other's music so well anyway, we kind of knew where everyone's tastes 
well, you know, lay anyway, that it was just a very natural sound. And someone earlier we spoke to sort of described the debut single as being a cross between Lady A and Fleetwood Mac. And it's like, for us, there's like no greater compliment. Like we love both of them, ma- you know, yeah, a massive yeah. amount. Yeah. So we're we're happy with that comparison. <laughs> well, that that's not bad company to be in, is it? Right? Should Absolutely. we let Should we let the people hear your debut yeah. single, Happier? Yeah, the people here. Would Absolutely. you, in fact, in fact, let's go one better. You guys introduce it. Who wants Ooh, it? Should we do it at the same time? You need, you need to do the Backstreet Boys, uh, all in sync, all together. This song. <laughs> okay, nice. you are listening to our brand new single. Happy <laughs> that was first time Flyers with their new single called Happier, which is out today. You can go Woo! and stream it, you can go and buy it, you can see the video. It's out everywhere today on Friday. So I'm here with Tim, Vicky, Jake, and Poppy. So good to talk to you guys. Um, I ha- I've had the single now for I think maybe a couple of weeks. And it's been playing constantly. Every time I'm sat on my computer and I need something to just tick me along, Happier is the track that's playing. Yeah, <laughs> make sure, yeah, make sure you keep streaming uh, from today, please. Thank you. <laughs> so um, we mentioned before that, uh, you know, it has been compared to sort of a, a mixture of Fleetwood Mac and Lady A. Uh, I also think, you know, it's quite sort of shy as um, which, again, is all absolute compliments because it sounds fantastic. Mm-hmm. We're right. very happy with that. They uh, absolutely. We're um, we we know the the uh, the shy is extremely well. Um, and we we've been. I think I speak for us all. We we've been very you know supportive of them too. Been to their shows, um, written with them and worked with them in some way. Um, I supported them not too long. There you go. Jake supported them not too longer in his previous career as a solo artist. And, yeah, really uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's um, a but like that, you know, they they've shown what UK country can be. And and how far it can reach, and I think if we can do something similar, that would be uh, justice. I mean, uh, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did Happier come about? Do you want this one? You've done this to me again, Jake. Is this is Happier yours? Absolutely not. No, um... <laughs> um, absolutely not. Um, this is a collaborative. Uh, we were uh, we were just we were in the studio with our um, you know really good friend Katie Ray who's a fantastic songwriter and um, yeah we were just I don't know chatting about relationships and that kind of stuff and uh, and how how do I phrase this? Um, <laughs> Was the question without after swear you words? Break up with someone, isn't it? From yeah. both sides, you're you're both wondering whether you're happy with that decision and whether yeah. you're yeah. better off, isn't mm. it? And and everyone asks that when you leave something behind, even if you're the one leaving. You know, absolutely. Think, yeah, summed it up very well. Nailed it. Thanks, Jay. Uh, so, uh, I, I, the next question, I'm not sure how to phrase this. We're going to play another track as well. Is it <laughs> in this day and age? Is it a B side? Is it a double A side? Or is it just another track that's come out to accompany it? It's what? a surprise. <laughs> it is a lovely <laughs> surprise. It's it's a yeah it's a bonus track. That's what it is. It's like back it back in the day where you'd listen to a whole album and then. Uh, Suddenly, sort of ten minutes after the CD's finished, there's just this extra track on at the end. Um, it's one I of those. I missed that. I missed that. Oh, I remember doing that. The hidden track at the end. Well, like yeah. when you stay at the cinema. And yeah. Like, yes. Yes. You it's don't that. get that with Spotify anymore, do you? No, you don't get much. You don't get money from Spotify either. But uh, you know. <laughs> wow. we're not getting close. Yeah. Political. Political. Oh, there we go. Uh, right. So. We're going to play that in just a second. So that's another single that is coming out called Just Friends as well. Tell us about the future of First Time Flyers. What can we expect this year? Festivals, albums, world domination? Yeah, probably um, a line of private jets and maybe rockets um, Rockets, as well. Well, I just thought, what's higher than a private jet? A rocket. A rocket is up there. First time, because it flies. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. So our own line in... Executive, I feel like we've gone off topic. We have, yeah. um, no, it's <laughs> you said it world domination would basically be great. all of the things In the you most said. Way. I think for us, we, we've been working so hard behind the scenes for a long time, getting all this ready, getting all these songs prepared and produced. Um, that it's just time to put them out now, you know. Now we can actually shout about the band, it's it's right. a very exciting time, just learn like that. Words. And um, <laughs> yeah, we just learn how to play them live now, that's the thing. Um, but after seeing, you know, we as we said earlier, we did a launch this week and it's like, 
seeing the audience reaction to those songs has been really valuable to us because we've been living with them for ages but yeah. actually seeing other people sort of connect with them has been so important so yeah. more songs more singles loads of shows as many as we can do i think that um that sort of fit our sound and that we can sort of squeeze ourselves onto uh, as a, as a essentially a new band which is always difficult but uh, i think it's one of those styles of music for me that I think people will enjoy if they hear it. So it's just getting it in front of as many people as possible. Um, now, I'm, I'm sure that you are going to play a lot of festivals. Is there going to be any sort of tour as well? Well, we'll see. That would be nice. Yeah, we would love that. It, nice. It's definitely on our agenda. We'll we manifest it. We are manifesting a lot of things and we have... Um, We've just started it. We should tell them say about the box thing. Pops, oh, come on. So, okay. Tell them. Tell them about the box. So I pitched a little idea to the band because we were talking about what we want from this and like some of our goals. And I think it's really good to know you you're kind of I'm gonna say realistic in uh in in what's inverted, it, commas. inverted commas. Fingers. But then like, you know, the big goals that are definitely achievable. And so we're making a box called the First Time Flyer Box of Adventures and Goals. Oh, and uh, we're actually. all we're all writing um, a goal on it that we want to do. And then when we've achieved that goal, we're going to open it and we'll have a little thing that we have to do, like a treat, like, I don't know, dinner or laser Posh mail. Like, or something laser fun tail. like that. Wow. So we're, you know, we're getting really clear about what we want, um, which is going to be great. So all those things are on there, tours mm -hmm. and, you know, certain supports and certain slots at particular venues or yeah. this, that and the other. And, you know, it's, wow. it's nice to put it out there. It all sounds absolutely amazing. The only thing I will say is if you do head out on tour, please, please, please come down south. Now, to us in Portsmouth, London yes. isn't south. <laughs> I know to the rest of the country and the rest of the world, London is the south of England, but to yes. us in Portsmouth, that's two hours north. I'm from Devon. We're so going to do a exactly Devon show poppy, for sure. Exactly, Poppy. Right down. I definitely want to go down south because that's where my grandparents are and they oh, didn't oh, love to oh, There you go. <laughs> Yeah, so we're we're in Portsmouth, but if you can't do Portsmouth, then either Southampton or maybe Brighton is is yeah. perfect. Absolutely, I'm sure we, Brighton we will be on will that be list. We will be there as well. in droves. Yay! Really? Love that. Yeah, right, we absolutely will. Thanks for talking to me, guys. I really do appreciate it. Thanks I wish you all the success you can possibly have, and I'm sure we will talk again soon. But let's finish up with playing your surprise second single, <laughs> and this is just friends. Enjoy.